As of January 29th of 2023, there are 47 volcanoes which are erupting across seven continents. One of the nine actively erupting volcanoes within Indonesia is the Ibu volcano, which is located on the island of Halmahera. Recent eruptions of Ibu have constructed a viscous lava dome within its summit crater complex. This lava dome has in turn been the site of numerous volcanian eruptions which eject bombs of lava, ash, and pyroclastic flows and explosive events which are quite loud. As a result of its hazards, a 2 km exclusion zone is in place around its crater center which expands to 3.5 km in the direction of its northern crater opening. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Alaska, a volcano which is suspected to be active has now been confirmed as such due to the discovery of a geologically recent volcanic ash layer on the volcano which definitely originated from it. Meanwhile, in Chile, the volcano which produced the largest explosive eruption of the 2010s decade once again sent ash particles into the air, but this was not due to a new eruption. And in Chile, Lascar most likely erupted once again, with its alert level being quickly raised from green to yellow, and then yellow to orange in the last week. Lascar had previously ended a several-year-long period of no eruptions occurring when it unexpectedly erupted on December 10th of 2022. Although that eruption quickly waned, the level of seismic activity at the volcano remained above background levels, which occurred alongside persistent thermal signatures visible from satellite. Then, on January 23rd of 2023, persistent thermal signatures returned at the volcano alongside an increase in long period earthquakes. Per a direct quote from a U.S. Geological Survey webpage, these longer period earthquakes are not caused by brittle failure, but rather are thought to be caused by fluids moving through cracks beneath the ground. These fluids can be hydrothermal, water, or magma. As a result of these events, its alert level was raised from green to yellow on January 26th. Later, this activity further increased and an infrared camera detected what appeared to be the glow from shallow magma on January 28th. As a result, Lasker's alert level was raised from yellow to orange and a 10 km or slightly more than 6.2 mile exclusion zone was put in place around Lasker's active vent. Although an eruption is not guaranteed to occur, one seems quite likely. If Lascar does erupt, it will likely involve intermittent volcanian explosions which often generate pyroclastic flows. In Chile, during 2011, the Puye Way Cordon Col volcano produced the largest explosive eruption of the 2010s decade, ejecting a total of one cubic kilometer of volcanic rock in an eruption which was assigned a volcanic explosivity index of a 5. Although that fascinating volcano left behind a large obsidian lava flow during that eruption, it has not erupted since. Yet, on January 23rd of 2023, a weak cloud of ash rose from the volcano and drifted to the southeast. This did not occur due to a new volcanic eruption, but rather represented ash resuspension as significant loose material still remains on the volcano from the 2011 eruption. In the Aleutian Island chain, there are the so-called Islands of Four Mountains, which despite the name, consist of six volcanoes thought to be active in close proximity to one another. Although all six volcanoes are thought to have produced Holocene eruptions, only Cleveland has definitively erupted as several of its eruptions have been witnessed in historical time. However, there is now evidence that the Cogamil volcano has also erupted during the Holocene period as an 8-inch thick white ash layer was discovered right below the eruption deposit from the 43 BCE caldera forming eruption of the distant Okmok volcano. Thus, while this volcano has presumably not erupted in a long time, this provides evidence that it will most likely eventually erupt again. Here is a quick list of all 47 volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on January 28th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.